Well, there it is, folks. Tiki Hut open for the season. Thank you, Wendy, for organizing it. I'm not a very good organizer, so when you're on Salt Spring Island and you're looking for a Polynesian-style folk art tiki, this is where you can get folk tiki art hut. tikis. They are made out of all different types of wood. Native wood, exotic wood, driftwood. That's a driftwood one there. And um, we have customers coming today to look at this, so it's a good thing that Wendy organized them. Everything is priced. And you can come in here and look around. There's more big driftwood ones in throughout the gardens. So we do ship these all over the world. They are on all corners of the planet, our Salt Spring Island folk art tikis. It is just simple folk art, and people do like to put them in, your, in their gardens. And Wendy has a lot of them in her garden. And then you've got lots that you put in the ground. Yeah, these, well, these big ones will go in the ground. Yeah. It's good to probably burn the ends of them with a torch or something, or treat them when you put them in the ground. So that's driftwood, like I say. And then there's uh, willow, native willow. There's yew, Pacific yew. And uh, there's maple, dogwood, eucalyptus. That's eucalyptus. And then there's grand fir. And that's eucalyptus. There's western red cedar. There's oak. And there's another willow. That's driftwood there. Another driftwood one. And that one with the tongue on it there is eucalyptus. That's uh, dogwood, dogwood. Dogwood is really hard wood and hard to find because you're not allowed to cut those trees down. So I have to get trees that have already been fallen, died, cut them up. So anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, like I say, you might like a folk art tiki for your own garden. And by the way, those aren't grapes hanging there. Those are palm seeds. <laughs> That's what left of what we've sold and sowed. All right. Cheers and aloha from Salt Spring Island.